I'm Lindsay with Motormouth Wireless, bringing you tips on how to get the most out of your smartphone. This is the new Cricut ZTE Score, model number X500. It features a 3.2 megapixel camera, uh, slash the camcorder, has a 600 megahertz processor, the 2.3 operating system on it, so it's the gingerbread, and a 3.5 display on it. To turn your backlight on, you have your key up here that you press. And it looks like on the outside, we have a shortcut for our camera key and our volume keys are at the top right. To unlock the screen, you're just going to click on the lock and slide it to your right. And if you want your backlight to come back on, you just hold down the power key and it'll put the backlight off. On the opposite side here, you can actually mute the phone. So if you don't want your phone to ring at all, you can slide that over and that'll mute it. To unmute, you just click on the yellow one and slide it again. This one also has five pages that you can personalize with your apps that you download. Right now it shows that we're on number three. And if you slide to the left, two, one, all the way to five. Three is going to be your main page. Your main keys on here is your call button. You press that and that will take you into your call. Um, you also have up here at the top where you can skip over to your call log contacts or your favorite contacts. Down here we have our home key that will take us back to our main page. The little arrow with a circle on it is where you can pull up your main menu. This has all of your apps that you've downloaded. It slides up and down. And press the home key. Over here you have your messages. When you click in there you can do a new message. Um, up at the top, that's where you would want to put the phone number. If um, you can go into your contacts by pressing menu, and let's see. You can also just click in there, and if you click on one, two, three, you can actually just dial the phone number that you want to send the text to. And when you're ready to compose your message, you click down here at the bottom, and then that's when you can compose. Okay, your contacts on this phone is in the main menu. So when you click in there, you can go into your contacts. I would actually create a shortcut for this on the main page. If you put your finger on it and hold it down, it'll let you put it on your main page. That way you don't have to go in there every time you want to see a contact. Um, if you don't want to keep it on there, you can just hold it down and delete. To add a contact, you can go in here and press menu, new contact. And you want to put in the name of the contact. and the number. Okay. And then done. And done. And that'll save your new contact. You can also, and this is the way I personally like to do it, is go into your call and dial the number and then press menu add to contacts and then you can just create a new contact that way on this one you can also change the wallpaper uh, by going into menu and wallpaper you can choose from gallery, gallery, which is your pictures that you've taken, or you can go into the wallpapers, which is the ones that the phone has saved in it. I personally don't like the little man jumping on my screen. So I'm going to change that to green. Okay. The other thing on here is the Android Market. If 
you have an account, you can just sign in. If you don't, you can do create. Choose a password, it has to be six digits long. And I always just use my date of birth seems to be the easiest to remember. Okay, once you get in here, you want to agree. Oh, it didn't like my password. See if it lets me go this time. Yeah. Okay, and this is just offering you to back up your phone to your Gmail account. Okay, you can go in here, and if you click on the, the apps over here, you can look through all apps. And what I really like about this is that you can actually look through just the top free ones. And I'll pull up all the free apps that you can download. Then you can also do a search if you know something that you specifically want to look for. And it'll pull it up too. If it costs, it'll say the amount over to the right. And to be able to buy it, you, you have to put a credit card in or a debit card with the Visa emblem. And to download a app, you just click into it and click on the free and OK to install. Whenever your phone has something that it's doing, like a message or a notification for you, it'll put it in this top bar up here. And if you want to see what it says, you just pull it down. So that one shows my Juice Defender, and it shows it that it's at 15% downloading. Once my app is downloaded, it's going to come into this menu. And just remember, if you want a shortcut to it, all you have to do is hold it down and move it up. Okay. This phone is also um, a Move Music phone put out by Cricut. Um, we do have a video that will show you how to use your Move Music if you want to watch that video next. And, that would, and that's all I've got for the ZTE Score X500. That's all for today's tip. For more Street Smart Phone tips, visit Motormouth Wireless at Facebook, Twitter, or Foursquare.